these days you don't need any kind of GIS software or the uh, server to visualize the raster map. So these kind of maps, uh, these kind of styles we can visualize in leaflet as well using some of the plugins I'll show you later in the video. And of course you can like implement the pop-up feature which give you the uh, particular value of that particular pixels cell. So if you don't know and want to know how did I implement this, watch this video till the end. So let's get started. Before starting video, I want to share you one thing. My channel and Lightix shows that more than 90% of my viewer haven't subscribed to my channel. If you are among those viewer, please, please, please subscribe to my channel so that I might get motivated to create more and more interesting tutorial. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon. So let's get back to the video. All right. So in order to implement this functionality, I uh, I use this geo raster layer for leaflet plugin. If you haven't started, please start it. It's very useful plugin and uh using this plugin so i i i simply need to like initial initialize it by like adding this script tag and after that it has some demos as well uh you can feel free to explore and the main section over here so using this plugin we use the page api to read our tip file directly and then uh get the array buffer and if that we like simply create the new layer using geo raster layer function and we provide the opacity resolution and then pixel value to color fn and uh, we simply add that to our map so let me do that for you step by step all right so now it's time to initialize our plugin so in order to initialize this plugin so we just simply need to like uh, add this script into our tag so i am going to add it right here and then maybe i'll add the comment like uh, geo raster layer for leaflet okay yeah that's my comment and also there is one more thing so here uh, when i check the code i found that we need this parse geo raster function right so this parse geo raster function is from geo raster api so i'm going to simply add uh, that script too so this is the like geo raster cdn link so feel make sure to like add this uh, plugin as well All right, so now another step is to load our raster data set, uh, which is geotiff file, a uh, load geotiff layer. And in order to do that, so I'm simply going to copy this code, whole section first, uh, maybe up to this level. And then I'm going to modify over here. Okay, so the thing is, uh, it's going to load uh, using fetch API of course in here we need to provide the uh, our data directory and our data directory inside data raster and then nepal nepal lc 2020.tif and then uh, it will give us the array buffer and then we pass that uh, using geo raster and then pass it to the uh, pass it uh, again with the geo raster then we added that into the layer uh, using new geo raster layer function uh, this is like class so this class is like provided by the geo raster layer for leaflet plugin and uh, using this plugin uh, we load this raster and then we also need to like a uh, pixel values to color fn to like uh, colorize our pixels so for example if i did not write anything in this particular section then uh, our color will be grayscale and don't worry about resolution I'll talk about it in later and after that uh, we load that layer into the map and then uh, we uh, fit bound based on our layer 
okay so if you do that correctly oh looks like there is some error so let's see okay parse geo raster is not defined oh maybe there is a like a, there is a error in the documentation it should be parse geo raster so yeah it should be parse geo raster now your map is loaded right so if you check the documentation over here so by default our resolution will be 32 which uh, it means very low resolution and uh, typically tiles are 256 by 256 pixel higher resolution are 512 by 512 and of course definitely if you increase the resolution then it might take uh, more time to load your raster layer or even uh, it might crash your raster layer and uh, with the 64 resolution you can a little bit see your raster uh, with the like pixelated format right so let's try to change it to 256 for now and then our pixel will be much more smoother and then it looks a little bit nicer right okay so i'm going to comment out this as well and uh, now i'm going to like implement this pixel value to color fn function so the thing is uh this is the like function to visualize the colors based on like value if the value equal to like uh if the values equal to like uh or the less than maybe less than sorry less than 100 then we represent it red otherwise blue just to test okay so this is our map of course this red part represent the value lower than 50 and then uh, blue part represent the value greater than 50 100 sorry oh sorry less than 100 are red and then greater than 100 are blue okay so yeah in this way we can simply implement this pixel value uh, color fn function but of course uh, since this data set is downloaded from copernicus so this data is downloaded from copernicus website over here using cds api and then if i check the documentation tutorials or the documentation version product user guide then i got to know that the classes are like this so there are various classes this is uh, this link provide the uh, land cover uh, categories based on whole globe but i downloaded only the nepal part and here so i again remapped and i feel like uh, like the lower than 130 are the green area and then uh, maybe this is urban bare water bodies and permanent snow and ice uh, region so using these uh, color maps so i wrote the code i'll just paste it here okay so these are the values i want so i'll simply remove it so if the values are less than 50 then yellow these are like cultivation lands and uh, so you can also see that cropland right uh, some sort of croplands up to 40 values right and after that if the values are between uh, 50 to 130 those are green area and then this is also green but different kind of green and this is red uh, it's the build up and uh this is my water not the water body i think bear land water body and then snow and ice so if i implement this color map and save it so my map will look like this so now it has like more colorful variation and uh simply you can see the land use land cover map but one thing uh i little bit wondering about this map is simply it try to like froze my browser if i try to like zoom in and zoom out so it's not the smooth uh interaction right so in order to like minimize uh, in order to like make it uh, more smoother 
try to decrease your resolution so for example if i say 128 then it will be a little bit more smoother but definitely uh, my uh, classes are pixelated so you can see a little bit of like pixel kind of structure over here uh, on the top like himalaya region or the bottom valley region right and then even the my water body is like uh, somehow pixelated and it's not continuous so that's the uh, little bit uh, uh, drawback of this uh, resolution and okay so in this similar way i can uh, add the srtm dim data set so uh, simply i'll uh, copy this whole thing sorry up to here and then simply paste it and then i need my map to like fit into that srtm dim and maybe i'll simply just toggle off these layers it might slow down my map that's why and instead of this nepal lc now i'll add the srtm dim 57081 right and another thing i might like is since uh, there is like no pixel value so i'll simply remove it and then if i save it and now my map is automatically zoom into the srtm dim region right so which is uh, around like uh, thailand or somewhere uh, i think it's myanmar above myanmar it's china okay so yeah in this way simply you can add the like your raster map of course if you want want to colorize this at srtm dim then definitely use uh, the above function like uh, the pixel value to color fn function otherwise uh, simply leave it as it is but one thing you might have noticed that uh, so there is no thing happen if i click on map right so in order to add that uh, in implementation so simply you can like uh, add extra code over here map on click event right and then map on on click and then you need to write the function with event maybe i'll write event and then just try to see the console log uh, event first okay so if you do it then whenever you click on the map uh, sorry uh, okay whenever you click on the map then you will get the x and y position which represent the latitude and longitude value lat long values right so over here so i'm going to like take this x and y values uh, first and then add the pop up on that x and y value okay so simply i'm getting latitude and longitude and then i'll add the pop up add pop up with marker and then var marker equal to l dot marker and then i need to provide latitude and longitude on this map and then add it to the map and and the thing is i also need to add bind pop up uh, here okay not a bind pop-up maybe bind pop-up right okay if i do that then whenever i click on the map then i'll get the marker right and then if i click on that marker then i'll get the text but instead of this text i need the like actual value of raster so in order to like get that value we need to like depend on another library called GeoBlades. So I'm going to add this library CDN link over here. So, okay, right here. GeoBlades, right? So if I add this, uh, nothing will happen. But here 
I have to like write a code to like get the actual elevation. So my elevation will be geo blaze geo blaze dot identify and then identify based on my geo raster which is over here this parameter right and then i need to like provide the latitude and longitude value longitude comma latitude value it might be a little bit confusing for you so most of the time in leaflet we provide lat and long but uh, using this geo blaze plugin we need longitude comma latitude just to make sure that you uh, enter the correct uh, inter latitude and longitude in the correct order right so this is our elevation and then if i say elevation and then comma maybe i need space and then elevation then uh, we might get the elevation also i want to open the pop-up uh, by default so if I do that, then uh, whenever my map load and click, we got the elevation. But unfortunately, there is no elevation. Uh, let me check it again in the code. Sorry, uh, instead of this comma, I might need plus sign. So let's see. Okay, now it's working, right? So whenever I get a uh, whenever i click on map i get lots of like uh, markers right it's uh, redundant so i want to like remove these previous markers and then add the marker uh, so in order to like remove the previous marker so i wrote a small chunk of code here so it what it will do is it will iterate over all the layers and then if the layer is instance of yal dot marker which is right here then we remove that layer. That means we are basically removing all the markers from map, right? So if we do that, then we'll uh, remove the previous marker and then uh, get the value of particular like uh, click point, right? Similar function you can implement on the previous layer, which is land use land cover layer as well. So yeah, that's all about this video. I hope you like this video and if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching